Rising costs not only making it more difficult for families to afford food, but it's also putting a strain on our food banks. That's why some are teaming up with grocery stores so the food that they get doesn't go to waste. Jamie Warren joining us live this morning to explain how all of this works. Jamie, so break it down for us. Nick, it turns out there's a lot of food that goes unsold in grocery stores. It's not that it's bad to eat. You just might be less likely to buy it. Like when you go to a batch of apples and you find one that looks a little bit different than the rest. So that's where this program comes in. 10 stops a day, five to six days a week. Employees with United Food Bank pull up to local grocery stores, filling up their trunk with bread, baked goods, and fruits and veggies that remain untouched on store shelves. Which are still perfectly fine to eat. They're just not necessarily the first thing a customer is going to pick when they go to a beautiful pile of produce. The recycling company RTS estimates about 30% of all food in American grocery stores is thrown away. That's 16 billion pounds every year. But since launching the grocery rescue program in 2013, Mark Rosso with the food bank says they've taken six and a half million pounds of food yearly from stores and given it to people at local food banks. 960,000 of that coming from Sprout stores alone, which is why on this day, so I wanted to present you with some recognition. they thanked Sprouts for their partnership. CEO Dave Richin says, especially during this time, it's something they can't go without. It's tough because of the supply chain, you know, stuff that we'd see in four to six weeks takes eight to 10 weeks and it costs about 30 to 40% more. And so as a food bank, when we're in the market buying food, it's a scary time for us right now. And so fortunately, our grocery rescue numbers are way up due to the generosity of our grocery stores. So I asked Richens, OK, are there any limitations to this program? He says right now they have about 150 different agencies going in and out of stores every single day, but they would always like to expand their reach because there are some gaps and they want to make sure they can serve all communities. Nick. Yeah, Jamie, it's still so many people in need right here in this community. We appreciate you bringing that to us.